brightest blessings everyone I know you haven't seen me in a while and I'm making a video from the heart okay um, last night um, I actually watched a recorded copy of prayers for Bobby uh, I don't know if anybody has heard of this movie uh, it's a lifetime it's on channel uh, the lifetime channel and cable and I think it's very important for people to see. Now, basically, in this movie, um, <clears throat> this guy was in a uh, very, very religious family and uh, knew that he was... I mean, prayer was part of his daily life, and I have no problem with that. I'm very religious myself and very spiritual myself. I don't happen to be Christian, although I, I was raised Catholic. Now, the thing is, is that um, things happened in his family. This is probably going to be a two-part two part video. But things happened in this family where, you know, he started having feelings for men. You know, he had a girlfriend that was just basically to keep his family happy. In fact, he even broke up with her when she wanted to go all the way. You know, most men would be going, oh, sure, all right, finally. Um, but this this shook him to to the core, and he ended up breaking up with her. Um, he saw himself looking at other men, and he it was really hard for him. And in the meantime, he heard these things in the background, you know, like they were at the a, a birthday party for the grandmother, and uh, his brother, you know, kind of put on some makeup and was walking around in an effeminate manner. Obviously, he wasn't gay. Um, and the grandmother said something like, "Well, if you ask me, all queers should be shot." Whoa. I mean. You know, I was in tears in this movie many times. Uh, his his situation didn't exactly mirror mine, but boy, I could feel exactly where he was coming from, especially with shots like that all the time. You know, in my family it was fucking faggots this, fucking faggots that. Um, it's all their fault for a lot of things, and of course they're the child molesters. They're the ones we need to be demonizing. And one day he just couldn't he just couldn't handle it anymore. He tried to commit suicide but didn't. His brother caught him and convinced him to talk to him. And promised him to silence. Well, of course the brother told mom. Now mom worked with him every day. Um, had different prayers and affirmations around the house for him, saying, if you just pray hard enough, if you just believe more, God will cure you. This is a test. God will cure you. Because she had the same things whispered in her ears. She didn't want a son to be homosexual. And in all reality, who the hell would choose to be homosexual over heterosexuality? Seriously. It's a lot more accepted. You don't get bashed here and there. You don't have to fight for rights that are automatically given to you. It's a lot easier. It really is. And I really don't know of anyone that says, you know, I'm just going to be gay or lesbian today just to piss people off. Just to fuck with them. I mean, I'm a muckraker. And I don't do that. You know, if given a choice, yeah, being straight would be a hell of a lot easier for me. And the, th the thing is, is that, I mean, she prayed every day. She had him going to these ex-gay places. Um, all that stuff, you know. And, and it's almost like they led him as far as saying, yes, I'm doing well, you know, just because he wasn't, you know, on top of a boy that day, they're saying, see, you have success. Now, you know, I've got my opinions on that, too, okay? I have a big problem with ex-gay ministries.
okay? Just because you do not act upon homosexual feelings does not make you an axed homosexual. You still have those feelings, okay? Now, yes, there are some people that have successfully went from gay and lesbian relationships to straight relationships and are even married to this day. Some people actually have a romantic love for their husbands or wives. But in my belief, and I'm coming straight from the, the, the point of view of the homosexual, if that's the case, if they truly are married and have a romantic love for their married partner now, then they were never straight up gay. They were never straight up homosexual or straight up lesbian. They were bisexual. And actually, bisexuals make up a majority of the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered population. I believe that most people are bisexual. I, unfortunately, personally, do not fit into the majority of the gay and lesbian um community though because I'm not bisexual I'm a lesbian now if you want to sit there and say yes you're successfully changed because you still have feelings for the same sex and you still look at the same sex and you still think about the same sex even though you're forcing yourself not to act upon those feelings then basically you're just giving yourself an ulcer as I've said in a previous video and you're not doing anyone any good. You're not choosing not to be gay. You're choosing not to p act upon your feelings. Okay? And then anybody can do that. Oh, yeah, it's tough and it's hard. Even straight people can do that, too. They choose not to, though. Now, that's choosing on whether to act upon your sexuality, not choosing your sexuality. There's a big difference there. Okay? Now after afterwards, uh, Bobby goes off to college <clears throat> and meets somebody, um, and really finds his own strength. The thing is, is that his mother will not talk with him. I mean, he comes back for a holiday without his boyfriend, and talks about him though. Says that he's met somebody, but it's a guy. And of course, the mother automatically turns her back on him saying I will not have a gay son and he actually grew a set and said well then I'm sorry mom but you don't have a son then um, but this tears him apart because he's not allowed to communicate with the family and this this is just sad and unfortunately there's not really anything made up about this. This is not fiction. And if this book was fiction or this movie was fiction, this part is not fiction. I used to volunteer for a gay and lesbian community center at the switchboard. And we got all kinds of calls. Anywhere from, hey, where's the nearest bar? To, um, hey, I've 